There is something very random and inexplicable about breast cancer. It happens to women and men, to the old and to the young, to mothers and daughters and granddaughters. For Lauren Kozlowski, the diagnosis came at the start of this year. Eyes straight ahead. Fitness. Here we go. Hey! Food yeah, and yeah, faith, right? the mantra for Lauren's life before. Hey! I definitely have prided myself on my ability to stay strong and even training for my black belts. I fall down, I get back up, I don't give up. A life of achievement and discipline. Focus on Sherry, come on. Hey! I thought I was in control of my life, yet I have faith, very strong faith. What this has taught me is I don't have control. A life in control, or so she thought. Hey! Excellent. The truth of the matter is, when you're faced with life and death, Bottom line, none of us are in control. Okay, so from here... Everything again. was shaken by this diagnosis. You have invasive ductal carcinoma grade 3. And so immediately, from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, I felt this numbness. Immediately, Lauren's strength shifted to new challenges. She had a double mastectomy, followed by chemotherapy, and now radiation. Her new mantra is faith, family, and friends. In the darkest moments, they are there. When her hair fell out, her children held their mother close. And my son just was running his hands through my little crew cut hair, and he said, Mom, you know, don't cry. He said, it's all right, it's all right. He said, your soul still has hair. Another project in Lauren's life has new chapters now. I love this place right here. This is so therapeutic for me. A book inspired by her faith allows her to reflect on her life with breast cancer. I'm amazed at how many fears held me captive before this trial. Fear of fear itself. In acknowledging her fears, she found peace. And so when people tell me, wow, what you wrote last week inspired me and I was having a really hard week, that to me gives purpose to my pain every time. Lauren still has strength and desire after breast cancer. Only now she has another reason to inspire. Today, every day, I hop out of bed and I say, I am alive. Anything beyond this breath is icing on my cake. Lauren, like so many others, is quite an amazing person. They continue to astound us, every breast cancer survivor. And as she said, she has tremendous faith. She's writing a book about her faith, her spirituality, and now this journey. She is halfway through her radiation treatment at this point. Her hair is just starting to grow back. She continues to do her taekwondo, and she will be running in the race for...